Hello, you know that we have been providing you with smartphone reviews for quite a long time. Now we have brought our very first TV review. This is the new TCL PRS Ultra HD 4K Android TV. TCL launched this TV in Pakistan a few weeks ago in three variants. But important and a good thing is that they all have identical features with respect to performance and quality. The only differences are the sizes and the power rating. 65 inch that costs 159,900 rupees consumes 145 watt of electricity. 55 inch variant costs 109,900 rupees and will consume 125 watt of power. And the third one, 50 inch variant that costs 96,900 rupees consumes 120 watt power. What we have here is the least expensive variant, the 50 inch TCL P8S UHD Android TV with all those features that you are just going to discover right here. But before that, I will request you to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon for notifications. Or if you are watching this video on Facebook, you can like our page. So let's just continue with the first thing, unboxing. Let me cut it through. Here are the first two things, the stands, probably the side stands, they are needed for desktop placement. This should be the middle one I believe. Ok, what's inside this package is the remote, very tiny and smart. The power cable and AV to 3.5mm adapter. and there is nothing else. Now make sure that you have a friend for help because this is not just a smartphone box, it's a big TV. The very first impression is that it's really sleek and premium. Another glimpse of key features, 4K USD Android TV, artificial intelligence, HDR, white color gamut, Google Play, built-in Chromecast, Netflix and Bluetooth. Fixing the TV for desktop placement is really simple. Just put the TV front side down while making sure that the sides of the TV are away enough from the ground because the side stands lean forward a bit from this front side of the TV. Just like that, fix the rear stand and it leans backward. The design actually impresses with the slim and sleek components but with these stands, the TV will require a desktop with at least 12 inch of depth. If we talk about the design and quality, then this TV leaves nothing to object. The frame of the TV is made up of metal, the bottom part as well, the metal stands are pretty tough. The back side of the TV is covered with plastic panel, it's a high quality premium plastic and it's not so uncommon for TVs to have plastic back. The power input is on the left side, while on the right side of the TV there is a complete set of ports. A USB 2.0, a LAN port, an HDMI port that in addition to an input source, also supports audio return channel. This single HDMI port can take input video from and provide output audio to an ARC equipped home theater. I'll try to explain this port in a separate video later because this is really useful. Another HDMI port that can be used for surfacing the TV as well as for a standard input source. The antenna cable in for built-in tuner. There is also a digital audio out and a third HDMI port that can only work with an input source. Another USB 2.0. Then there is an audio video input. A cable adapter is provided with the TV. Finally, there is a 3.5mm audio jack. So this is actually a big plate of input output sources. Just ignore the ARC or service HDMI port. You get three HDMI ports for three different input sources at once and two USB ports. Let's just move on and quickly remove these films to continue with inner details. I guess I haven't shown you the TV itself. Did I? Well, here it is. Let me start the TV first. I actually like this tiny remote control. There is a dedicated Netflix and TCOS buttons too. 
Overall, it comes with a very minimal set of buttons, but still it has a Google Assistant button that allows you to interact with the TV via voice commands. Okay, this TV runs an Android operating system, so it's as easy to set up this TV as any Android smartphone. But it's a lot easier if you've got an Android smartphone. Just pick up your phone and set up a nearby device with Google app in the phone. It's indeed quick. But the real benefit of this process is that you won't need to add your Google account and password on the TV. Pair them with a passcode. Make sure that both the phone and the TV are on the same network. Choose an account on your phone that you want to set up your TV with. You will still need to provide password on the phone for security. When it's done, we will continue on the TV with only a few pages remaining. Now this is the home screen of TCL P8S, completely stock Android TV. No additional TCL software or anything and this TV is running the latest Android 9 Pie operating system. So you should be excited about that as well as you can install more apps and games from Google Play Store as long as they are available for Android TV platform. Did you just think about VLC player or any other video player to play various kinds of videos? Well I did and interestingly it's available. The thing is, any app which is available for Android TV platform, you can download that on this TV. We should put the software and features aside for a little bit, because when we talk about a TV, the most important thing is always the display. I've told you that this is a 50 inch screen with Ultra HD 4K resolution that makes up a pixel density of around 88 ppi. If you're thinking it's poor, then you are wrong. Because it's a TV, not a smartphone that you would put right in front of your nose. TVs are generally fine with this pixel density. See? Now let me tell you that when it comes to TVs, unlike many TV manufacturers, TCL is counted among a few companies that build their own display panels. And they are actually competitive. This LED panel certainly impressed me with its vividness and sharpness. Most importantly, its contrast ratio and viewing angles. This TV has a 5000 by 1 contrast ratio which means the whites are 5000 times brighter than the blacks which is a lot better than many local and other Chinese TV brands. TCL doesn't mention an exact viewing angle but I believe this TV can grip the colors up to over 170 degrees that's quite impressive in this price range. You can also customize the display settings as per your needs. By default the brightness and contrast are at full level but you can increase or decrease black levels as it suits you. The mid-black levels were fine in my experience. This TV also comes with Micro Dimming Pro, the improved version of Micro Dimming. The basic purpose of this feature is to enhance contrast and vividness in the backlit LED panels. It functions to adjust brighter and darker parts of the individual frame separately. You can even detect the change right away. Although the side frames are extremely thin, the screen itself has a tiny bezel around it. But sitting far from it, it doesn't give any less than a full screen experience. This TV also features HDR10 Plus for further dynamic range of the picture and white color camera for even richer colors. HDR10 automatically turns on if the playback has this support. For example, Netflix has a lot of variety of video content that also includes HDR10. Now that we just talked about Netflix, yes, this TV comes with Netflix pre-installed and the app updates when it's available. The best part is this TV works with its full 4K resolution on Netflix too. Because we don't usually see what resolution the playback is running on Netflix, there's a title called Test Patterns to verify if the content is playing back just according to your device, network and subscription plan. There are different episodes of the title to test for different kind of audio video equipment. This one is to check if your equipment is fully capable of running 4K content on Netflix. This will continue with increasing the bitrate and resolution. Soon you will know that your TV can play 4K content on Netflix or it cannot. Here it is. This TV is now actually playing 4K content on Netflix. It required constant 8 Mbps at least to stream 4K video but only 24 FPS. 60 FPS footage will require even higher internet speed. 
Not only that, I also tested the 4K playback on YouTube. You will only see that resolution on YouTube when your display spots it. As you can see, it's 60 FPS footage. So just like I told you, this footage required over 23 Mbps to play smoothly. So the fact is, this TV is absolutely capable of running 4K content at 60 FPS without any trouble. You can play any 4K video footage at 60 FPS from any local source such as USB or media sharing. This is just one of the 4K 60 FPS videos recorded for this review that wasn't choosed but it managed to participate. Chromecast is built in so you can just cast anything from your phone right away. This is really nice feature that you may use for sharing content on big screen among gathering or you can just cast a movie from your phone to the TV. After all it's Android so Google Assistant is also right there. The remote control can be paired with the TV for voice commands and you can speak through the mic within the remote control. Let's try that. Please play Money Heist on Netflix. All right, opening Netflix. See? Okay, once again. Please play Taj Dari Haram by Atif Aslam in YouTube. Sure, Taj Dari Haram live at Coke Studio by Atif Aslam playing on YouTube. Wow. That's great. I actually like this teeny tiny remote control. But if you don't, you can download Android TV remote control app on your phone and do a lot more things. It supports touchpad right in the app. My most usable feature is the remote keyboard. It's quick, it's intuitive, it's fast. There is still a lot more to talk about this TV. A range of external sources that you can attach simultaneously, let it be your PC or a gaming console. This TV can work with four different gaming platforms, and all that cannot be covered in this video alone. So I have to break this review right here. But one thing that I missed is the sound quality of this TV. It's really loud. Seriously. Really very loud. The Dolby Audio certification also means it. Not only loud, it's clear and smooth. The sound quality shouldn't be a problem with this TV. I'm very impressed with this TV, especially for the price range. Being third largest TV maker in the world, the price is attractive if compared to Sony and Samsung. You really get what you pay for. Android TV platform is also a plus point with its ecosystem. Okay, I'll cut it short. It's 4.50 in the morning. Please appreciate, like this video and share with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so and hit the bell icon for notifications. If you're watching on Facebook, you can like our page. Thank you.